Hey folks, how's it going? I'm guessing some of you may be wondering where I've been in the past month or so, right? Well, take a look! <laughs> New place! I moved out! I know, right? Still adjusting everything, but I've adapted very well, a lot better than I thought I would. However, that's not why we're here. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Season 3 episode of My Little Pony, Friends of His Magic, known as Magic Duel. Ah uh, yes, Magic Duel, the very episode that brought back the great and powerful Trixie, a fan favorite from the Season 1 episode, Ghostbusters. Except this time, she actually is a genuine threat and manages to back up her claims of being all great and powerful. She's up for revenge against Twilight, and with her is an ancient item known as the Alicorn Amulet. It corrupts her and makes her completely vulnerable to its power, feeding on her resentment and petty bitterness. But now Twilight is powerless to stop her, what with her unicorn magic being useless against Trixie. Even worse, Twilight is cast out of Ponyville with no way of getting in and... Wait, is that... is that a dome? It's okay, guys. I'll figure something out. Just take care of each other. And keep an eye on Trixie. There's something strange about her. Twilight? Ponyville is now surrounded by a dome? With no way in or out? Wait. Uh, where have I seen that before? No way. believe it, but it's true. It, it all adds up. It, it's something I noticed before, but now I really do see it. I, you guys, I've come to this realization. Magic Duel is under the dome for kids. Chester's Mill is a place like any other. At least it used to be. Until we were cut off from the rest of the world by a mysterious dome. Invisible, indestructible, and completely inescapable. The trap. We don't know where it came from or why it's here, but now that we're all trapped under the dome together, none of our secrets are safe. I mean, there have been some minor references like this before, and you could even throw in the mist! I didn't think the show could get that adult with his references, so it really... Hello? What? You mean, it has been done before? More obviously? Oh, oh, right. I remember now. Okay. It's true that this has been done before. A more obvious example is definitely mm, Mystery on the Friendship Express, which is based on the Agatha Christie novel and later film adaptation, Murder on the Orient Express. The original source material is a murder mystery, while the show itself took the motif of a mystery taking place on a train and made it G-rated. It basically comes down to being Murder on the Orient Express for kids. Magic Duel did the same kind of thing. While it wasn't the entire focus, you can't deny that some of the elements are there. Ponyville, much like Chester's Mill, are now stuck under a dome cut off from the rest of the world. There's a power-hungry leader who is in control of everything, bending everyone to their will and will punish anyone who gets in their way. Both Trixie and Big Jim Rennie have a vendetta against the main protagonist, them being Twilight Sparkle and Dale, Barbie, Barbara, respectively. You also have the entire town living in fear with no way to get in or out. Eventually, some characters all work together to conspire against the big bad and help all the protagonists overcome the villain. How about another duel? Why should I? I already beat you. That's up to you, but I guess you'll never see the totally awesome magic from beyond the Everfree Forest. Come on, Zakora. Wait! Okay, okay, you're on. A second duel. Now, while I 
wish they could have expanded more on the element of living under a dome, it still managed to be a very interesting take on the matter. You might wonder if this was intentional, and even I can't say for sure. But I'm not the only one who thinks so. And even when I initially reviewed the episode, I noticed it. The book came out in November of 2009, a year before Friendship is Magic aired, but because of the timeline for the animation and production of every season being a year, there was definitely plenty of time to plan this episode. The TV series of Under the Dome started on June 14th of 2013, and Magic Duel aired on December 1st, 2012, six months before the former began airing. The episode was actually meant to be a season 2 episode, but because of things getting shuffled and switched around, it got pushed back and ended up airing in season 3. This means the episode was done as early as 2011, two years after the release of the book. And even in, at the time, Under the Dome had news for the fact that they were working on an adaptation, possibly for a movie or a television miniseries. So at least by then, the book was out long enough and it even had a bit of buzz to get started with a further adaptation. That and The Simpsons movie, which came out four years earlier in 2007, also had the same concept in dealing with Springfield being trapped under a dome. So, the question is, was it intentional? Did they really mean to make a bit of a shout out to Under the Dome? Well, maybe. A lot of the things do kind of add up, and it hasn't been explicitly stated, but the similarities are there, and you can see why people would make the connection. So, that's it. Magic Duel is now Under the Dome for Kids. And hey, not the first time I've made a connection from an episode to another show I watch. Are you sure? Absolutely sure? I'm sorry. I wish I could help you. But I can't seem to remember anything before King Sombra came to power. And I don't want to remember anything about the time he ruled over us. Anyway, so that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again next time.